Hi everyone, my name is Chitra Akilaswaran, and I'd like to tell you about our proposal for reinventing maternal health. Pricing the risk of childbirth, predicting cephalopelvic disproportion. Obstructed labor is among the top five causes of maternal mortality and accounts for up to 70% of maternal deaths globally. Without intervention, obstructed labor can cause serious consequences such as exhaustion, dehydration, postpartum hemorrhage, uterine rupture, puerperal sepsis, and obstetric fistula. Today, cephalopelvic disproportion, or CPD, is the primary risk factor for obstructed labor. Basically, CPD happens when the baby's head cannot pass through the mother's pelvis. CPD is a universal phenomenon. However, in resource-rich countries like the United States, women have easier access to the interventions they need, like cesarean section. If we can predict the likelihood of CPD in a mom, we can save lives. Clinical pelvimetry is a lost science. It involves measuring the various cross sections of a mother's pelvis to determine whether she can pass a baby through it. Using clinical pelvimetry, we think we have a model that will allow any community health worker to assess the risk of a pregnant woman for cephalopelvic disproportion. The ideal setting has a cadre of community health workers or midwives who conduct antenatal visits and can then refer women we deem high risk to a general hospital with full emergency obstetric services. Our model will require will require three pieces of information from a pregnant woman. These include maternal height, measurement of the transverse diagonal of the Michaelis rhomboid area as shown in the picture, and whether the woman has had a history of cesarean section. These inputs will be used to determine whether a woman is at low or high risk for cephalopelvic disproportion. Women who fall into the high risk category will be advised to deliver in a facility where they can get the resources they need to have a safe birth. These resources should include antibiotics, medications to augment labor, blood products, and trained personnel that can perform cesarean sections. In truth, we believe all women should deliver in a facility. However, recognizing the vast challenges in health systems globally, we hope our intervention will offer an opportunity to counsel women on the benefits of facility delivery and encourage high-risk women to deliver in a facility equipped for obstetric emergencies. We believe this solution is ideal for three reasons. Number one, it is simple. Using this tool requires minimal training. Number two, it is actionable. By using this tool, community health workers are empowered to advise women against the risk they may face. Number three, it is observable. If the women our model predicts as high risk actually avoid an obstructed labor, this will reinforce our intervention in the eyes of the community. If we are selected, we will be able to test our model, make it functional for the field with the use of creative technologies, and design a way to put it in the hands of those who can save lives. Thank you for your attention.